President Biden vowed the U.S. will hunt down whoever is responsible. He also pledged to keep evacuating both Americans and our Afghan allies, but the clock is ticking toward an August 31st deadline. We are joined now by Michael Balboni. He's the former Deputy Secretary for Public Safety and Homeland Security Advisor for New York State. Thank you for being here, sir. In your experience, what is the most important thing for U.S. troops on the ground in Afghanistan in this high-pressure situation who need to carry out this evacuation mission? So you have three immediate impacts uh, that the, the world is watching right now. First is you have a enemy that has a uh, is, is much better equipped. You know, the irony is we approach the 20th anniversary of 9-11 is that the Taliban of 2001 was much weaker, ill-equipped than the Taliban of 2021. That is because the U.S. left literally in the middle of the night, as in Bagram Air Force Base, and they left all this equipment there. All these weapons, these helicopters, trucks, armor. And this is a so much better equipped enemy right now. The second piece is the loss of this intelligence network that was there in this part of the world. And that is a really big problem for us because we are losing some of our capability to, to see what's going on on the ground. You know, and, and then the last thing is that this has been a really, this sends a very dangerous message to our allies. If we would just get up and leave like this. And so the question becomes who's going to come to our aid now? Who's going to join the fight with us? I mean, if you take a look at some of the comments from Britain, and there's obviously a shaken confidence in America's ability to stay in the fight. And staying on that point right there, you sort of mentioned it, ISIS-K, the sworn enemy of the Taliban. A lot of Americans had never heard of them before. How complicated do you think it will be to track them down in this chaotic situation over there? I think the, uh, the, the, what the president has made the announcement that the true um, uh, effort here is going to be get, getting Americans out of there. Uh, but that, of course, leaves behind a lot of people who assisted the U.S. efforts in, in Afghanistan, finding out and having a reprisal against the people who committed the uh, bombings uh, at the at, in Karzai Airport today. You know, that's going to be a difficult challenge, especially because of the troop levels there on the ground and because of our intelligence network that's, and, and some intelligence analysts are telling me, it has kind of gotten dark right now. And do you think they'll have to send more troops in there? I think it depends upon how this situation escalates. If there are more bombings, if there are more American lives at risk, and if you really can't devise a plan to get everybody out very quickly by the 31st, uh, then you might have to consider that. Michael Balboni, thank you so very much for your insight. We really appreciate it. Thank you.